In this video, we're going to do an example of multiplying some matrices. So notice that I have two columns and I have two rows that go side to side. On the same, I have two columns and I have two rows. Now notice that when you're multiplying, you don't necessarily have to have the same amount of columns and rows. You can multiply things out that have different columns and rows. So this is a little bit different than the adding and subtracting that we did. However, I'm going to show you the process that we're going to go through, and I'm going to write it all out right here, and then we'll write our final answer in this box down at the bottom. For instance, on this first one, I have a value of 1. So I'm going to write it right here. I have a value of 1, and that is going to be multiplied to this value of 4. And then that's going to be added to 4, that's this value right here, because notice I'm going from left to right, times the value of 3. So while I'm going from left to right here, I'm going from top to bottom here. So that's going to give us one of our answers. Now we're going to do the next one. So when we do the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do 1, so I'm going to circle it in black this time, times 2. So right here, I'm going to write 1 times 2 from the red box. And then I'm going to go to the 4 again. So we have 4, so that's going to be plus 4 times 1 from the red. So hopefully you've seen how I got that. I'm just going to go over it one more time. I have this 1. You have to multiply it to this 4. That's what we have here, 1 times 4. Plus 4 times 3. And so I should have wrote this one in black. Just so you can kind of see where I got it from. And we did add those together. You must add them together. And we're going to get an answer for that in a minute. And then when I started my second round, I went ahead and did 1 times 2, which is the top right, so 1 times 2, and then we did 4 times 1. Notice I have the black 4 and the red 1. So we're going to go ahead and do our next set. Right? We have one more row to do right here. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to circle this 2. So we have 2. I'm going to write a 2 right here times this 4 up here. And then that's going to be plus 3. So I'm going to write my black 3 that I'm getting from here times this 3 down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next column right here. So I have this 2. So 2 times this value of 2 up here. And then I have 3, so plus 3 times this one right here. Now what I want you to notice, while the first number changes, if you look, the second number is the same, right? Because I'm, I'm following this pattern. And now if I do the math, I'll have my final answer. So just to reiterate, we had 1 times 4, that's the first one, plus 4 times 3, that's this 4 times 3, and then I went ahead and started over again and said 1 times 2, 1 times 2, and then 4 times 1, 4 times 1, and then I went to this second row and I said 2 times 4, so 2 times 4, and then 3 times 3, 3 times 3, and then we started over again and said 2 times 2, 2 times 2, and 3 times 1, 3 times 1. Now you follow this pattern every time as you're multiplying these, but now we're going to do the actual math. Now if you're not good at multiplication, just please use the calculator, right, in order to do your answers. Um, these are small numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and just do these outright. I am going to circle them as I do them. Um, let's go ahead and take a look right here. I'm just going to put this all in a calculator. It's 1 times 4 plus 4 times 3. So we can go ahead and do the calculator, 1 times 4 plus 4 times 3. 
and notice it gives us 16. So I'm going to go ahead and write the answer to this right here on the top left. Just like I have this set up on the top left, I'll write the answer on the top left. And then we'll go ahead and go to the next one. And on the next one up here, we have 1 times 2 plus 4 times 1. Next box, 1 times 2 plus 4 times 1. And that gives us 6. So on this top right, I'm going to circle this right here. I'm going to go ahead and write that value of 6. And then we're going to do the next one. So now we're going back over here in front on the bottom left. And we have 2 times 4 plus 3 times 3. So 2 times 4 plus 3 times 3. And it gives me 17. So I'm going to write that answer right here. And then we have our final one. I'm going to circle it real quick. 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1. So 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1. And it gives us 7. Now, just to reiterate, I'm going to draw little arrows. This one that we had up here on top, I put my answer right there. This one that was on bottom, that answer went right there. This one that was on top, that answer went right there. And this one on bottom, the answer went right there. And this whole thing right here is our answer. So that is the answer. We have 16, 17, 6, and 7. And that's how we multiply a matrices.